Hello, my name is Katie, and today what I want to show you is how to go through the session simulator. So this is our dashboard. This is for our mock notary. What you'll want to do is go all the way down to where it says session simulator and go ahead and click. Okay, and then after that loads, what you'll see is a pretty accurate representation of what it will look like once you are doing your notarizations. This would obviously not be a static image. This would be your signer. And then what you'll want to do is go through the regular flow. You can go ahead up here to do the participant ID and status. You can see the status of them passing or failing or pending for their two-factor authentication, the ID verification, and the KBA. And then you can also practice filling out one of these quick claim deeds. So this is a fairly accurate representation of what it would look like for Florida. This is just for our mock uh, sessions. So if you want to see what it kind of looks like, you can either use the toggles where you would just put it over that, and then if you needed to press the date, you would just press D and then it would come up, so it would be the seventh day of March. And then the only other tip that I wanna just kind of quickly point out is when you are filling these out in real life, when you are doing these notarizations, make sure that when you put the date, it is going to either be for the date that you're signing or leave it blank. So that way when you are doing it, if you do it a couple days in advance, it's not going to mess up the notarization as far as predating or postdating or anything like that. So my tip is just to either date it for when they are going to be signing or just leave it blank. So after that, you would go ahead, go down here and then either toggle where it press signature and you can put the signature for the primary, fill out all of this information. If you have any questions about filling out a notary block, we have a couple different YouTube tutorials about that, but this is how you would do the session simulator. And then you can also bring over your signature, put it right there. And that way you can kind of get a feel of what it would look like and then also make sure that all of the information in your seal is correct. If this is your first time that you are doing a mock session, you just filled out your notary information. You want to make sure that everything uploaded correctly and that you aren't missing any numbers or anything like that. Otherwise you would have to go back to account settings and get that taken care of. But that is pretty much what it looks like. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and follow us for more tips and tutorials. Thank you.